Hi everyone, Guy from Midwinter Minis here. In this video, I'm going to do a little review of the custom Blackstone Fortress foam trays made by Felder. If you've played the game, you'll know that Blackstone Fortress is a lot of fun, but it's also a bit of a pain to pack away. The rulebooks even include a section on how to tidy up, which I think is pretty hilarious. Now, I saw that Felder made a set of inserts for Blackstone Fortress, and I was really interested because at the time I was using two separate boxes to store the game. One for the minis, and one for the tiles and books, cards, and the other bits. A couple of days later, this really light box arrived for me in the post, just in time to pack away the mess from last night's session. So, grabbing an appropriate knife, I opened up the box. Inside, you'll find a cool little catalogue, two thin foam toppers, as well as the two main trays. Now, at first glance, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what goes in what hole? Now, fortunately, the little catalogue that comes with the set also features a picture showing how the trays are packed and which minis go in which spaces. So, following the guide, you can quickly place the models in the right holes. I was pretty slow at first, but I think you'll soon get used to the unique shapes and positions of each model uh, the more you pack and unpack your set. It would have been nice to have the explorers grouped together rather than spread out as they are, but I'm sure there were practical reasons why that wasn't possible in the design. A few of the models are obviously pretty spiky, and can catch on the foam as they fall into their slots. Now this isn't really a problem, as the foam is very soft to the touch, and with a gentle poke, the models don't stay stuck for too long. The foam is softer than I'm used to, and certainly softer than the foam that Games Workshop use in their carry cases, and yet it feels pretty rigid. As you can see, the first tray is purely for miniatures. The second tray holds the uh, ghouls, the spindle drones, Ryan and Rouse, and the leftover guardsmen, and also holds most of the cards too. Once you've packed away your minis, you'll want to move on to the dice, tokens, and cards. I would recommend bagging up your dice so it's easier to sort them out the next time you play, and put the dice in the only recess that doesn't have a finger cut out at the edge. Once the dice are in place, put all of the counters on top. It should fill up to the top of that section, and you can pat them down to keep them level. I found that by using these foam inserts, you don't really need to use the dedicated databank envelope, as there is enough storage to keep everything separate. And let me show you what I mean. Put the initiative cards of the explorers that you're not using face up in the little hole that fits. Next, get your active initiative cards and the enemy initiative cards and place them face down. That way it'll be easy to sort them out when you next get the game out. You could also store the discovery markers in this section too, again for ease of unpacking next time. In the large recess, store your exploration deck, and then your encounter deck, and then your discovery deck. You can place the hidden vault envelope on top, and no peeking until you finish the game though. Next, place the resource cards from the ships currently docked at Precipice face up. Now, place the resource cards from the ships that you're not using face down. This way, again, it'll be easier to cut the deck when you start up again. In the last recess, store your undrawn legacy deck, any undiscovered strongholds, and any unretrieved stronghold artifacts, all face down. Then store your current adventure's active legacy deck face up. To keep them separate, you can store any encounter cards that haven't yet been added to your deck on top of the hidden vault envelope. And finally, put your unused mortis cards on top too. And next, you want to get all of your current explorers, their cards, and any wounds if they're in the middle of an expedition, and place them in the dedicated envelopes. Put each active explorer in their own envelope. We'll also put the remaining data cards of unused explorers, as well as enemies, in another envelope. If you're unfortunate enough that any of your explorers have died, use a separate envelope for them, along with their mortis cards. Place each foam tray into the bottom half of the box, and cover them with the two foam sheets provided. This would be a lot easier if I'd just done it in the box to begin with, but oh well.
Use the recess side to store the tiles and start with the precipice board, then the largest tiles stacked up on one side. On the other side, put the narrow tiles in and fill up the remaining space with single and the half hex tiles. Split up the track and place it lengthwise across the whole thing, which should be pretty level by now. And don't forget your range ruler too, I totally forgot about that, it was kicking around somewhere else. Next, put your explorer and data card envelopes on top of the foam side. Pop one of the manuals on top of the tile side to create some separation, and on top of that, place your four active ships, facility side up, in stacks of two. Next, place your two unused ships, support side down. And we're getting there. Finally, place the remaining manuals on top of each side, trying to keep them balanced, and then put the lid on. So as stated on their website, when using the game box with the inserts, you'll find that the box sits about one centimeter up from where it would normally sit when the box is closed, but the whole package feels really solid, so I wouldn't worry about stacking other games on top of it. Overall, I'm definitely gonna use this as it makes packing up, setting up, and storage much easier than the admittedly haphazard system I was using before. I definitely recommend the set. If you've got Blackstone Fortress and want to safely and neatly store everything, it's really hard to go wrong for just 25 euros. Now speaking of the price, I let the team at Felder know that I would be making a video on this set, and they were kind enough to create a voucher code for my viewers, so until the end of April 2019, you can get 5 euro off any order over 50 euros with the code MIDWINBS at checkout. Now I hope that stands for Midwinter Minis Blackstone, and not Midwinter Minis bullshit. So basically, if you're looking for any foam inserts for your board games, transport systems for your minis, or any other foam related fun, you can use this code and grab a discount. Huge thanks to Andreas at Felder for setting this up for my viewers, and thank you so much. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this review. It's definitely something different for this channel, uh, so I wasn't sure of what exactly to do, but I hope you like the format. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like this video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe if you want more, and share this video with your messy Blackstone Fortress gaming pals. <laughs> and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.